Hey, what's going on everybody? And today I'm gonna to talk a little bit about why once again, it has been forever and give you a little bit of a peek at what I'm hoping to do in the spring. So first and foremost, you've probably noticed I haven't been doing too much. You're also going to notice that I look maybe a little bit off in terms of coloring. It's because it's during the day. I don't get to record much during the day because usually on Fridays when I'm home, I'm home with, you know, my ex is here, my child is here, and everything is bananas, but they're not. So I'm taking five minutes to kind of talk about where things are going. Now, I recorded something around Christmas time. It was going to be you know, this real touching thing, but it didn't really go the way I wanted to. I just didn't like it, so I never put it up. And sorry, happy holidays, you know, happy new year, all that fun stuff. But it is, it is January. It is actually January 13th. It is Friday the 13th. Doom, gloom, omen, all that good stuff. The first major piece of what I'm hoping will be the great PC build of 2017 is here. It's tucked away underneath here. You can't see it. It is my case. If you follow me on social media, you've seen pictures. I took pictures. I put them up. Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, they're all there. In fact, if you want to see, I actually kind of organized my Facebook pictures a little bit on my page. Uh, Facebook.com slash DavyCracker80. Twitter at DavyCracker80. Instagram, DavyCracker80. Snapchat. You guessed it, Davy Cracker 80. So I'm gonna throw a little clip. I think I gotta get I think I gotta get it off the memory card of my other camera, but I did record an unboxing of the case, so we can go ahead and you know do a little unboxing video and give you a look at what it, my first peek of what this case is about. Now I didn't completely know what I was doing at the time, and what is that dog sniffing around for? Go lay down! Oh, I know why he's sniffing around. And so I did a little unboxing. I really didn't know uh, what the hell I was doing. Anyway, you had to yell at the dog again. I didn't really know what I was doing at the time. And so I didn't realize that uh, the how the sides came off. But I do understand it now. I completely understand how this case works, how the screws work. It's a really nice design. I like it. And I look forward to building in it now. All I have so far is the case. Um, technically, I also have a hard drive. I have a two terabyte, 7200 RPM uh, Seagate Barracuda drive. And I'm gonna put another mechanical drive, a hard disk drive in the build when it's ready to go as well. So those are for storage. Now people are gonna be screaming, well, the SSD. I plan on doing SSDs. Listen, friends, this is what my build is going to be. It's going to be on the X99 platform. Uh, either a 5820K, unless I could find a 5930K for a really good price, a 5820K or 6800K. Right now, the difference in price is about 60 bucks. Uh, the 5820K is $320 at Micro Center, the 6800 is 380. Also, but if I get a motherboard from Micro Center, I, get an, I can save like 30 bucks, depending on the motherboard. That I go with and I'm like right now I have an MSI X99 uh, gaming pro carbon I think is what it's called motherboard but that's not set in stone uh, really the main things I want my motherboard I need uh, m.2 I need obviously you know the usual USB you know the 3.1 is great 3.0 is obviously the stand is pretty obvious you know some 2.0 headers would be good too because bands and stuff <clears throat> uh, but you know I need to have the be the ability to do what I what I want to do I want an m.2 uh, for the operating system uh, what size I get is going to be dependent on budget and how I ultimately go about this uh, at least 256 gig. I want a one terabyte solid state drive for games and such. And I want the storage drives for obvious reasons. 
I'm going back and forth on GPU. If budget allows it, a GTX 1080. If it doesn't, a 1070. If I really can't, a 1060 would work or even go back to the previous generation. I've seen 980 Ti's for roughly $300 on eBay. Um, but when I was looking around, the, 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 the 1070 is only a little bit more generally and a little bit better performance and a little bit more future stuff going on. So, I, you know, I go back and forth on that. So th that's kind of where I'm at. You know, I'm, I've got the basics in place of what I want, you know, at least 750 watt power supply, maybe even more. Just depends. Uh, probably going to put some, I'm going to do, you know, all in one cooling, either one of the NZXT Krakens or a maybe the Corsair H100i. I've seen that one used a ton. It's a pretty solid cooler. And then some static fans to go with the cooler, uh, as I've seen enough about. I've seen a pretty good amount of videos on static pressure versus airflow. Minor differences, but hey, minor differences can make a big difference in the long run. I'm probably going to leave the NZXT fans that are in there unless they are obnoxiously loud and don't do a good job. But I've seen that they're more than good enough. I, I don't really feel the need to go and spend $20 on fans that are better. I don't really necessarily need LEDs. If I did upgrade the fans, I'd probably go with NZXTs because they have their own LED kind of system going. It's just all a matter of what I have in the budget. If I have it in the budget, I'm going to do it. If I don't, I'm not. In the meantime, you know, I'm, I'm still plotting this out. I want 32 gigs of RAM. I can get away with 16, but 32 is a good number for me because of all the encoding and stuff I want to do down the road. Again, some people are going to go, well, 6,800K is overkill and 32 gigs is overkill. And this is, and I, I get that. I, I do. I get that. But if I have it in the budget, that's what I want to do. I'd really love to have a 512 M.2 SSD in there. I could run Windows and all the Adobe products and other pertinent programs and then not worry about using those on the same drive as my games. I want my games by themselves and I want to have a decent amount of storage for all the games because games take up a lot of freaking space. Gears of War 4 is like 80 gigs by itself. It's it's ridiculous how much space these games take. And at some point, I'm probably going to need to add another SSD. But luckily, the case has enough space for hard drives. It's, you know, some people are going, well, they could have fit 12 hard drives bays into that case. But if you're, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, my case is the NZXT H440. Uh, again, you all have seen a clip of me unboxing it. Well, out of the box. I'm not going to show where I actually unbox it, but just, you know, looking at it and taking a good look at the case itself. So that's kind of a rough idea of what I want to do. Now, again, I don't have a lot of the pieces. I'm hoping to pick up a piece or two here and there as, you know, money comes available. I would love to have some of the smaller stuff. I'd love to have the power supply, the memory, uh, at least one of the storage drives before I get my tax money. Really, the more that I get with tax money, the better... I'll be able to finish this build because if I have everything but the CPU, the motherboard and the GPU, by the time tax money comes around, I'm only spending the money on those things. And those things are going to cost me something. It's going to cost me five, six hundred dollars for a CPU motherboard combination. And it's probably going to cost me another three to four for a GPU at minimum. So I'm looking at at least a thousand dollars right there. So again, anything I can get in advance is going to make a difference. And then I'm only using a fraction of my tax money instead of almost half. And that's where we're at. I want to get another uh, monitor. This is this, this uh, camera is sitting on a BenQ uh, GL2460. I'd like to get two more of those. Um, I also want to get a sit to stand desk and I desperately want to get a new chair. This chair is falling apart. So I would like to upgrade a lot of stuff. I'm good on keyboard and mouse. As you guys have seen on this channel, I have the Logitech G910 keyboard. I have the G502 mouse. I'm good there. I have speakers. I have the Avermedia ballistic speakers. So I'm good there. I have, I have pretty much all the other pieces that I need. 
I just need to actually get the core pieces for the computer and actually build it. And I'm looking forward to that. When I actually got a little sad when I took the case out of the box and I took a look around it and messed with it a little bit. I really, really wanted to just build a computer right then and there. Unfortunately, not in the cards because I just don't have the other pieces, but I look forward to being able to do it. I look forward to watching as many videos and get as many tips and tricks as I possibly can to make this build as good as it possibly can be without any kind of technical issues. And, you know, when I'm finished putting it together and I push power, everything comes on as I expect and everything runs great. I do want to overclock it. I'd love to get it to at minimum 4.2. I've seen with these with 5820 and 6800s people getting 4.4 gigs gigahertz across all six cores. I would love to get that overclocked. I'd love to, you know, if I get a 1070, you know, overclock that a little bit. As I said, a 1070 is perfectly good for what I want to do. I'm not doing 4K. I'm not trying to go even really into 1440 yet, you know, and a 1070 would do just fine at 1440, but for full HD 1080, I'll be playing all my games at ultra. That's all I really care about. I, I don't, I'm not into the whole, oh, it's 4K. Even though, I mean, I've got my Xbox One over here, my Xbox One S. So I will be getting an ultra high def TV at some point, but we shall see. In the meantime, I also have to pay off some stuff on my credit report and get my credit better. And I have a lot of stuff that I want to try and do and take care of and things that are just going on. But the PC build is going to be front and center. It's the one thing I can absolutely 100% do in the next three to four months, maybe even less. I get my W-2s at the end of the month. I'm doing my taxes as soon as I can. I'm probably going to use tax software. Probably. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I want to, I, you know, keep getting offers from um, H&R Block about that. I might even just go into H&R Block. We'll see. So there's that's what's going on. Uh, again, don't expect a lot because I don't have a lot of time and I don't have a lot of you know moments like this where I'm by myself and I can just record. There's usually just chaos going on around here. And it's just it just makes it really hard. And I don't have a room I can just go into at night and do this stuff. I'm in the living room. I'm looking at the living room. In fact, if I look this way, I am looking right past the monitor towards where the TV is. You know, chair, couch over that way. And there's just not a lot of privacy, which is a big deal for me. I know everybody's, well, well, my ex always used to say, well... You know, I don't care if you if you're talking and doing this stuff while I'm like, but I it's just me. It's a weird thing with me. I don't I like to have that privacy and just be able to do it. So that's where we're at right now. As I mentioned, I have my Xbox One. There's my controller. Xbox One S Battlefield One edition. So if you are on Xbox and you want to add me, if you want to follow me or whatever, however it works on Xbox One, uh Davy Cracker 80. I know it's shocking. I just I don't deviate from anything. But I think that's it. We've run this about 14 minutes. And I just noticed that her bug changed his steam name. And that is really funny. OK, we are going to call it right here. That is it for this video. I'm going to be redoing my last my outros. They're not going to be the same as they were before. So when this video goes live, hopefully I've actually done that. I'm going to simplify it a little bit because of YouTube's new end setup that you can do. Sorry, snapping the finger at the dog because he's being a doofus. So I'm going to try and retool things for that and we'll see how things go. Um, as I accumulate parts, I will, you know, I'll update you guys. I'll put them on social media. So make sure you follow me. You'll see it first. Oh, um, HyperX Cloud 2 headset. I do not have the mic put in, but I did go ahead and grab these off of eBay. They were refurbished for 60 bucks and they work perfectly. I like them. Um, I don't need them for general use. Like what if I'm using, if I'm recording, I'm using uh, these guys over here, hold on, they're falling off the wrong way. Kylie was messing with them. Uh, I have these guys, my Sennheiser HD Pro, HD 280 Pros. It's not picking up Logitech, Logitech, is it, okay, focus. Okay, it's not going to focus. Logitech G, uh, HD 280 Pro, these are my typical headset, headphones, headphones. 
and they are awesome. I got those for like 80 bucks and probably the best headphones I've ever had. The The Cloud 2 are close. They don't sound quite as good, but they're pretty good. I have yet to test the mic. I'm going to be doing something about that, though, in the near future, hopefully, because I do want to find out if that's worth having. That is for when I'm on my Xbox, because, you know, the new Xbox controllers, they have the 3.5 millimeter jack. Is that like having issues with the, uh, yeah, the chroma key? So I can hook them right into that. It doesn't give me surround sound, but I don't really care. And I just dragged this video on for three more minutes after I said I was done. Okay, that's going to be it. I'm not even going to get started on the Nintendo Switch. I really want to do stuff. I really want... I'm going to say this much. I've been watching a lot of Jay's Two Cents videos. And he does it pretty well. He talks about what he wants. He, the hardware. He talks about things that are interesting to him. He does it in a really neat way. He's kind of funny. I know there are some people who don't like his style. But I'm enjoying it. And I really would like to have the time to take 10, 15 minutes to talk about the Nintendo Switch and things that I've seen going on. Because there was a lot of cool stuff that came out at CES this year. I just don't know enough about it in general to really talk about it. So, for real this time, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. I will try to do better, but I make no promises because life is crazy. So, thanks. I was going to do that wrong. Until next time, thanks for watching.